Here is Ryan, the fake to Freeman. He's got Julio Jones open, and he's got the catch. And he's out of bounds after a gain of eight yards. Marcus Williams made the hit. Jones is the guy they like to get going early and often. Watch Julio Jones, number 11 in white, going across field at zone coverage. So Marshawn Lattimore is not going with him. What the Falcons did on the first play was use the aggression and this crowd intensity that the Saints brought with them against them. They came after Matt Ryan. They came after the running game. He's got out of the pocket and hit a pass. They give Jones 12. Ryan looking, stands in, fires in. Incomplete. Julio Jones, the intended receiver, and there was the excellent rookie Marshawn Lattimore. I think this is going to be a missed opportunity for Atlanta, though, because look at the route by Julio Jones. The ball's there. Good play by Lattimore. I take it back. It looks like Lattimore may have gotten a hand in, and he did. I thought that got to Jones clean. It did not. Give Lattimore credit. Hand in, knocked it away forces a punt. Lattimore made the Pro Bowl this year for plays like that. He played Jones well just a couple weeks ago when they met on a Thursday night. Ten holding penalties for that group, second most in the league. Well, here's Ryan Cam under pressure and he gets it to Jones that time. So under duress, Ryan fires on target and there is Jones. Well on cue, as Pam told us, make sure you stay with Julio Jones and you're going to be aggressive with him as a defender. Well, Atlanta's going to be aggressive with him, wanting them to find the football. So that play was made two ways. One, Julio Jones stand with the route. And two, the movement skills of Matt Ryan in the pocket. When he climbed the pocket straight up field and bought extra time for Julio Jones to come open. Lattimore on Jones is going to be a big matchup today. Second quarter from New Orleans, they're down three to nothing. Here is Matt Ryan firing, and he's got a completion to Julio Jones, who has his third catch of the day and a first down out to the 38-yard line. And notice what Steve Sarkeesian, the offensive coordinator, is doing with Julio Jones. Early. Look how he gets him right in there with Austin Hooper to make it hard for anyone to get up in press coverage and knock him off his route early. So expect to see a lot of bunch formations, stack formations, see Julio Jones on the move to try and get him away from that coverage of Marshawn Lattimore. Look to set up a screen. They're going to go back to Julio Jones. Nicely tackled. Pass interference, number 12. Offense, 10-yard penalty. Still first down. Four-man rush. He's got time. He's going to lock it for Julio Jones, who makes a tremendous adjustment and the catch up around midfield. You know, they watch Julio Jones in the slot. Lattimore stays patient with him, but a beautifully thrown football by Matt, Matt Ryan. Throwing it from the back shoulder and allowing his receiver to see the ball first, make the adjustment, and the catch. Four catches, 63 yards for Jones so far. Plenty of time left, 108 in the half. Let's see if they keep him on the move, keep him in some bunch areas, to try and get him away from Lattimore a little easier. Saints show blitz. They back off. Still pressure. Ryan in trouble. Hit as he throws it. Incomplete. He was looking for Julio Jones, but Cameron Jordan gave him some trouble there. And a third and ten. And Julio Jones out on this play. Third and ten. Blitz coming. Ryan on low. Dropped. And it's still alive. That may be picked off. They say incomplete. It looked like it sat there. No, interception. Amazingly, it never hit the ground. Marvin Hall runs the deep in route, and the ball pops out of his hands, so it's up for grabs. This is what they call a tip drill for defensive backs. It stays on the backside of Marshawn Lattimore. They reach for it twice. Does it touch the ground? See, it's right there on Lattimore. It's still up. It's reached for it right there by Marcus Williams. It stays on Lattimore. And look who pulls it in. Marshawn Lattimore for the interception. His first gluteus interception of his NFL career. Well, Lattimore, this whole secondary for New Orleans was remade. And it's really, they've been a strength After of the team. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. A catch and interception. You saw on the bench there, that was Aaron Glenn, the defensive backs coach, talking to his guys. Tip drill is something you work on all the time. And, and, and that's something about them going to get it. And guess what? They went and did that. But as we noted, 
The officials nailed this one right from the beginning. That's live speed. That broadcast talking about the running backs. And for New Orleans, it's been a big factor, but for Atlanta, not so much. But this is a big play. That third down for the half. Julio Jones, they made a personal mistake. He wasn't in the game. So instead of Jones, they threw it to that man, Marvin Hall, who dropped it. It was picked off. And then what do we get a couple plays later? That. Yeah, and so essentially you're swapping Marvin Hall, two catches for the season coming into this game. For Julio Jones, 76 catches for the season. Not a good swap for Atlanta. Third and five. Ryan, three-step drop. Fire and knocked away. It is Lattimore again, who was all over the receiver Jones like glue. This is a rookie, folks. First year in the league, number 23, Marshawn Lattimore, working against one of the more physical players, and I'm not sure he wasn't there early, frankly. I'm not sure he wasn't draped on Julio Jones. In fact, I'm going to say it. He was there early before the ball got there and draped on him. But he got away with that one. He's had a heck of a rookie year. But I think he was fortunate on that play. No flag was thrown. Well, Lattimore has had an outstanding year, but he got away with one. To, yeah. to me, there's no doubt about it. He does a nice job understanding where the first down line is and just guarding that. But he's all over him. Now watch him get there before the ball's there. To me, that's an interference call that he got away with. Close, but still won. Now, if Julio Jones played for the Atlanta Hawks on that play, he gets the call. All right, superstar in the NBA is going to always get that call. Bunch of playoff spot with a win, too. We'll keep you updated. Here's Matt Ryan. Play pad. Got to air it out. Going deep for Jones. Knocked down, or did he fall down? There's a penalty flag. Lattimore on the coverage again, and the penalty flag came down. There's no foul for defensive pass control. And if they're saying that's an uncouchable ball, here's my question. How can you tell when he gets knocked down 10 yards away from where the ball is going to come down? He would have a chance to make a play on the football if he's not knocked down and held. So to me, I'm not sure how you can make that call because look at this. He's going by him and he's held up right there. So I don't know how you can pick up the flag in this spot, in this spot and say that that's not a penalty. Ryan stands in, going to let it fly deep again, going for Jones again, and he's got it this time. Julio Jones on the bomb. So you see Jones working against Lattimore, out and up. Lattimore guesses on the out and drives on it. Jones goes past him, and a well-thrown football by Matt Ryan hitting Julio Jones down the sidelines. Marshawn Lattimore has had nice success against Julio Jones, but don't ever expect the Falcons to go away from trying to get it to one of the top receivers in the NFL. He's over 100 yards now is Julio Jones. He just went over with that catch. 40. Ryan rolling right, firing right, and it's caught! Waiting for the signal! No touchdown signal. At that point, ball's in his hands. He's got to come down with his feet are in the end zone. Now that looks he catching? Now that's a lot closer. That replay looks like he may have it, Charles. This is probably the best look down the line. It looks like the ball is breaking the plane of the goal line. It's very After close, reviewing though. the play, the ruling on the field stands. The runner is, the receiver was short of the goal line. Fourth down. Blitz. Ryan sees it, throws complete. Julio Jones, room to run for Julio. Into Saints territory and all the way down inside the 35. They'll mark him out at the 31. Probably the best route that they've run all day is Julio Jones on a shallow cross trying to get the ball in his hands early. And he did that versus their zone defense. Marshawn Lattimore not man-to-man -man on that one. And Julio Jones makes a big play and keeps hope alive for the Atlanta Falcons. Charles, you pointed this out a long time ago. He's done his part. He's got seven catches, 149 yards. They just have had nobody else today. Here's Ryan on first down. Coming over the middle, incomplete. Game break time. Let's check in again with Carissa. Thanks. It's indeed, nine seconds left. Ryan in trouble. Down it goes. Sheldon Rankins, another sack, and that will do it. The Saints victorious. They're in the playoffs.